decided to drive along the southern coast of the island and we are going well, right now we are at Villa Franco de Campo yes I think that we're is somewhere there we're somewhere we'll put <laughs> we'll put it down below um, but we're walking around the city today and there is a very very special island right off the coast of the city that we really want to check out and get some awesome drone footage. Let's see if we can get a little boat out to the little island um, because that's really one of the reasons why we came here. We saw a picture of it and uh, we want to get a little drone drone action going on. There's a boat that goes to the island every hour um, but usually it's in the morning time and right now it's around 11.30 in the morning. Um, she said they might be sold out for today so we're going to just walk back down to the dock um, and see if there are any tickets available. Unfortunately, the public ferry to the Princess Ring Islet was sold out for the day. Quick tip, get to the dock early and buy a ticket the morning up. They were about 8 to 10 euro per person round trip. And as fate would have it, we actually found an alternative way to see the islet instead. We are going to be taking a little boat ride to a little island right off the coast of the town. Um, and the guy told us that he's going to take us to a couple little secret spots that he only knows. Um, we booked it with Azor Sea. I will link their uh, website down below. They're also found on TripAdvisor too. Um, so follow along. We'll show you what the ride is like with them. Um, I think it's going to be a good one. Felipe took us to see the geothermal activity that can only be seen below the surface. So right now he is diving and grabbing some volcanic uh, heated sand to hold on our hands and it burns. It's pretty, pretty crazy. He said he actually cooks. He puts eggs or eggs down there. He can actually cook them with the sand. With a quick dive, you can see the geothermal bubbles, which are like a natural jacuzzi in the middle of the ocean. Oh, it's burning! Ooh, that was hot! <laughs> that one is more hot. That was very hot. For wow. you believe me, if not yes, you don't believe no, me. Our tour concluded with Felipe showing us around the Princess Ring Islet, which is where Red Bull hosts the Cliff Diving World Series. So we just completed a two-hour tour with Azor Sea Adventures. It was so much fun. We want to say thank you to Miguel you. and Felipe. You guys were awesome. Thank Thanks. you so much. The best for you, the best for us, all the, in the world. If you if you want to come check out this place, he's the guy to do it. The next day, we decided to explore the eastern part of San Miguel Island. We are now here in Parque de Terra Nostra here in Furnas. Um, this is one of the main attractions here in Furnas is this beautiful park. Um, and what we have right behind me is a geothermal hot spring that you can kind of grab your bathing suit and have a little swim. It is very hot today. It's 85, 87 degrees or something, and the water is quite warm, so we're not gonna be taking a dip. Uh, it's pretty hot. This place is not to be missed. You can spend hours exploring the botanical gardens, where you can see an array of beautiful plant life. When you get to the park is that they will give you a little map right here, um, which will kind of show you exactly where to go and what to do. It took us about maybe a half an hour at a pretty rapid pace around the park to get here, but obviously you can spend as much time as you can. Um, and it took, I think, right, eight euros, Daniel? Yeah, it yeah. eight euros. Eight euros a person to get in. Uh, definitely worth it. It's a beautiful spot. So we are at another attraction here in Sao Miguel. Um, little known fact is that they have a few little tea plantations here. Um, and today we are at one of the factories that you can go in and sample some tea and then you can walk around the tea gardens over here. I think they're called tea terraces <laughs> where they grow all of the green and black tea. So come along. I just grabbed some green tea here that's locally grown right outside. I'm about to try it too. I would suggest getting green tea or black tea here. That's what they grow here locally. And a little traditional Portuguese dish too. If you want the option of getting a free private tour, you can go in and ask them. They do that throughout the day as well. And I highly suggest you do because this place is not to be missed. I have been tasked with the mission to go into the tea maze. Wish me luck. I feel like I'm in that scene in Harry Potter, fourth movie. You know what I'm talking about, Goblet of Fire.
So this was really, really cool. Uh, it's a maze of just tea. So you might get lost. We're currently lost in here. And yeah, uh, we're hip deep in tea leaves. So consider that. We have no idea where we're going. One last recommendation is to stop and admire the many lookout points. So we are now at one of the famous lookout points here on the northern coast of the island. Um, I'm going to put the name down below here, or I'll show you a clip right now. Um, I think this is a great place to come to when the weather is perfect because you can see such beautiful cliffs on both sides of the lookout. Definitely a spot to hit up if you're doing a little road trip up here too. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you plan your own trips to the Azores soon. See you in the next one.